got a uh, <laughs> we got a cloudy day. The wind's real calm. There's a chance of rain tonight. I think that's why the weather's kind of calmed down. So we're headed over towards uh, Grapevine Lake with the kayak. You can see it in the back there. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see if the sand bass may be doing something or maybe even the crappie. So here we go. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens later. Bye. All right, guys. Well, I'm in Grapevine Lake. I am right now. I'm gonna troll and see if uh, if I pick up something on the way over here. This uh, this point that I'm going to. Um, I don't see any signs of sand bass or anything. Only one other boat out here. Oh, oh got one. All right, spoke too soon. <clears throat> We're just trolling along this edge here. And uh, what I'm using is I'm using a rooster tail. Cause that's my go-to lure for a little sand bass. And he's a little sand bass. <laughs> Set up my set up my um, side side rod holder. All right, little buddy. Well, there's our first, so we're not skunked anymore. Let me set up my. I have discovered that these are gold <clears throat> so that I can uh, focus on taking the, the fish off without getting a hook in me. All right, that was kind of small, so we're going to cast back and troll again. Working some fish here. <clears throat> now, this is a rare day, like I said in the intro. This is a rare day to, to, to get this wind this calm. Compared to that crappie fishing trip to Ray Roberts, wow, that, that was that was work. Trying to stay on them uh, columns under the bridge Another one. <laughs> well, I turned the camera off instead of turning it on, so I didn't uh, record that one. It was just a little sand bass. We're gonna switch over to. Uh, I think some of y'all know what kind of fishing I do with the jigs. So I'm gonna switch over to that. Yeah, I could do it with a rooster tail, but I like to slow my roll and use the um, <coughs> use the road runner.
All right, so switching over to the uh, Roadrunner. I think this is a half ounce, so I can work it down on the bottom. So let's see if I can get this kayak situated right. I'm not marking fish right here. I was marking fish a little bit further over here. See there, right there, I'm marking some fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chunk out there. I'm basically going to bump the bottom. And, and this is kind of like worm fishing, where you kind of chunk out there and you bring the worm down along the bottom, except I'm using a, a roadrunner, sacrificial roadrunner, if you know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna try just a little bit around this corner with this. It's not an actual spinner bait, more like a more like a beetle spin. Let's see if you see that. It's more like a beetle spin. Um, see if maybe I might get some some black bass to strike at it. It is spring, and I've had very good luck with spinner bait, so. so we're just gonna try it just a little bit, and then we're gonna go, go see if we can chase something else. Oop. That's the only thing I hate about this thing. I mean. Some of y'all are probably going to put in the comments that I should tie it. Yeah, you're right. I should. I'm just too lazy to do that. So I can swap out until I find out what they're doing. <clears throat> oh, I <laughs> got a hit. There you go. There's one. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh, got me a 
pickle. Ouch. There you go. Got them on the got him on that well, huge beetle spin, but at least it's a black bass. Wow. Alright, here we go. Ready? <laughs> A little bit of performance there for us. Alright. Don't think I got the a smaller torpedo than this. I don't think I brought it with me. Let me see. Now I did bring the grasshopper though. I did bring this. There go. I did bring this one, which is a little walker. <coughs> but I didn't bring. I have another torpedo that's a little bit smaller. We're gonna give this a shot. This will be its first time try. <coughs> more of a, it's more of a walk a dog thing. <coughs> Let's see what happens. <coughs> you know, it's like any lure. You just have to have confidence in it, and I don't have confidence in this, but I'm going to chunk it a few times and see what happens. Oh, got a hit. Got another hit. Oh, it hit it. Got him. <clears throat> he struck at it a couple of times. <laughs> Ooh, catfish bait. <clears throat> Here you fella. Ooh. All right, well, I'm gaining confidence in this lure. This guy actually struck it a couple of times. Until he got hooked. So that's a good sign. Ah, 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 easy guy. Don't stick me. Pretty little guy. So, yep. Now, if I was catfishing, this is what you're looking for. Alright, here we go. <coughs> now, I put that right next to the rock. And, uh, he couldn't stand that, so I'm getting confidence in it. This lure is very, very light. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I've had enough of this. Time to head back out there. That's about enough. There's quite a quite a bit of shoreline still left, but I'm gonna see if before it gets dark, see if I can get into some sand bass. Oh, got one on. Got a 
another one. Oh, reeled them in too far. Well, there he goes. <laughs> he was a small one anyway. Well guys, I think that's just gonna about do it for today. I'm losing daylight. I'm actually headed back to the boat ramp. I'm still trolling a little bit. Picked up one sand bass. I couldn't get the whole thing correct. I, uh, I couldn't get the camera on. But, uh, but anyway, I think that's gonna do it for today. And <clears throat> we're gonna give it another shot. The weather's supposed to be similar to this until after it rains. Then the, probably the winds will will pick up so oh getting a bite right here on the root road runner hey give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and remember if it jerks set the hook see you later guys good luck out there Another one. I must have gone through a school back there. We need these to be about 10, 11 inches. I love it when they're 14 inches. But anyway, last fish. See you later, guys.